Okay, welcome to part two of a video in which we are finding unknown tensions on cables and the force uh, necessary, uh, or the force that a, a tower applies uh, to hold these cables up in the air. And we're doing this um, using uh, a static equilibrium. So in part one, we just got to the point where we'd written out this long equation. And in order to solve it, what we need to do now is uh, find each uh, term that multiplies i hat, uh, collect those out because those um, uh, will set those equal to zero. We'll do the same for j hat and the same for k hat. So let's see where the i hats are. Um, we'll do i hat in orange. We have this guy here. So we have minus 702 newtons. Let's see, we have this guy here, plus TB 0.233. And let's see, we have an I hat here, plus TC 0.236, and this is equal to zero. Okay. Um, here, let me make some space here by just basically taking this and moving it up so that we get rid of our free body diagram. Okay, so this is the I hat equation. The J hat equation, we have a J hat term here, so we have minus 8 1872 newtons. We have a j hat here, so we have minus tb times 0 0.933. Uh, we have a j hat here, minus tc 0.9943. And uh, we have this guy here plus F, and that's equal to zero. Okay, let's see, we need one more color here. We'll choose an ugly green. Okay, so K hat, uh, we get here, we have minus TB times 0.272, and then we have plus TC, 0.236, and this is equal to zero. So again, we've gathered out each term uh, for each of the axes and uh, set each, each of those terms individually to zero. So we have three equations in three unknowns. The obvious thing to do is type these into Wolfram Alpha and see what we get. So let's do that. Okay, so first we have the first equation, minus 702 plus 0.233, and I'm going to call T sub B just B, plus 0.236, and I'll call T sub C just C, this is equal to zero, minus 1872 newtons minus 0.933b minus 0.943c plus f, and that's equal to zero. And finally, we have minus 0.272b plus 0.236c, and that's equal to zero. And it chugs away for a while and gives us a solution then that says that the tension in B is 1,390 newtons, in C is uh, 1,602 newtons, and that F uh, to uh, four significant digits is uh, 4,680 newtons. So let's go write this down. Whoops. Okay, so we have then uh, that TB is equal to 
1390 newtons. TC is equal to 1602 newtons. And F is equal to 4680 newtons. Okay, so there we are. We basically have finished um, finished our uh, our example. If we go back uh, to the uh, pictures, uh, we see that um, TB has a smaller magnitude than TA did. Uh, TC also has a smaller magnitude than TA. And we see that um, the magnitude or the force pushing up, the, the force that the pole has to push up with to keep this particle in equilibrium is um, about almost the sum of the three tensions. It's not quite that, but it's a fairly large value. So, um, that's pretty much it. Hopefully this makes sense and you found this instructive. Thanks for watching.